Phyllis. I am in charge of education at the Ohio Craft Museum. And if you're watching this video today, it's probably because you received a spring art box. And in it, there are three projects. And in this video, I am going to kind of go over those projects with you um, just to kind of simplify things for you. Also, you can look at this sheet that came in the box and it has a lot of information on it some home supplies you might need to um, finish these projects. So let's get started. So let's go over the first project on the list. It's called a nature board. In your box you received a piece of wood. It's got some rubber bands at the bottom and it's got a little wood burn line. You can write your name if you'd like on that line. Um, and then you've got the whole board really back and front if you'd like to uh, decorate and create and make it unique for yourself. I used when I made mine, I used uh, watercolor markers. I used a you know washable marker, just simple colors. And I also used um, a brush and some water to kind of um, create this little nature board all right and I just used markers and then to give that watercolor effect I used the brush and my water to kind of um, blend some colors together and the lines together after that dried I then used a permanent marker and if you can see on mine I've, I've gone around and just really casually gone around the edges of my flowers and stems and things that I did on here to add a little bit of detail. And that's really it. Once you do your design on there, you're gonna put your rubber bands back on there. Be careful doing that. And uh, you're, you know, take when whenever you take a little hike, whether it's just in your yard or if it's out on a little nature walk and you maybe have a backpack, you put this in there. You can gather leaves or little sticks and things like that that you see along your, your uh, hike, all right? All right, let's talk about our next project, seed paper. In your kit, you'll find this little disc of dried paper pulp. I've already made the paper. I shredded it, put it in the, an old blender I have with some water, and I blended it up and then formed these, got the water out of it, and uh, you should have one of these. It might be orange, might be red. You also have a, a card uh, and an envelope. Once your paper is dry, you could cut out a nice little shape and create a little card and send that off to somebody. Then they can put it in the ground and you know, put a little soil over it, water it, and there's, when their wildflowers start to grow, they can think about you. You'll probably have enough actually to make a card and send that off to somebody and then make, make one, a little piece of seed paper for yourself and plant that and watch that grow. You also have a little packet of the seed. So let's talk about the home supplies that you're gonna need. You'll have to gather an old towel, like an old bath towel or kitchen towel. You'll need some paper towel. You'll also need a bowl with some water because you're gonna soak your paper pulp in there probably a good 20, 30 minutes, okay? You're also, and this is just optional if you might have something like this at home, great. If you don't, don't worry about it. Um, if you have like a old, a little cookie cutter, which I have one that's a little butterfly, so it kind of goes with that spring theme that we've got going in this art box. Um, I also had some other things at home, like I had this little tiny tart um, pan. I thought maybe I'd put it in there. So uh, I also have some of these little silicone um, cupcake. You know, you can make your cupcakes in here. So kind of look around and be creative about where you might, you use like a little mold to create a shape um, with your paper pulp, okay? So 
Let's gather those items and then um, we'll continue with our paper making project. All right, so you've gathered your items and let's get started in making a little piece of paper, okay? So I'm gonna aim the camera down so you can see um, my work surface here. Um, I got my towel out. I'm gonna use this little cookie cutter shape of a butterfly. I've got my paper pulp in here. It's rehydrated and I've sprinkled some seed in here and kind of mixed it around. You can see that in there too. I'm probably going to need about half of this to form my little butterfly shape. I'm going to put some of this, distribute it evenly around in this um, mold. If you're not using a mold, I'll, I'll, do, I'll demo, demo that too, but um, I thought I'd start off with using my mold. I'm, it's just really, you know, kind of grabbing your pulp out of the water and pushing it down in all um, sides of your um, mold. And I'm just, uh, as I'm going along, I can see my seed in there too. So adding your seed, um, with your into your pulp is a kind of a nice way to incorporate the seed so it doesn't pop off the paper. And then I am I've got a nice even layer. I'm just kind of making sure that you know my layer is pretty even. And as you can see, I still have a lot of pulp um, left, so I can I know I can do another shape. I'm going to gently remove my mold, and you can see that butterfly. You can then take a piece of um, paper towel or whatever you have. You can also take this towel and just fold it and then just push with the palm of your hand and kind of take that excess water out. All right, and then gently you can see your little shape of your butterfly. I'm gonna leave it on here and I'm gonna let this dry for several hours. Um, I, I've tried taking this off right away and what happens is I end up breaking my paper apart. So because I don't want to do that, I'm going to leave that there to dry. On another towel or um, on this same one, probably have enough room to um, just kind of lay out the rest of your pulp and kind of shape it into whatever form you want. You could do a just a plain old circle if you want. Um, and later on, you know, you could take this and cut this into maybe a little flower shape would be fun for the front of your card or or if you just want to make any random shape at all, it doesn't, if you're going to put it in the ground, it doesn't really matter what shape it is. And then with your paper towel, you're just going to take the excess water out. And again, you can fold your towel a little bit over. I have a little bit here that I can do. And there you go. Kind of looks like a flower actually, the way I uh, shaped it. So you've got two little um, shapes here and you'll just have to use some patience and let that dry. You can see your little uh, seeds in there and um, just have fun with it. If you don't like the shape you created, you can always take it off your um, towel and get some more water and put it back in the water and um, start over, all right? So there you go. All right, let's talk about the final project. It's called You Are My Sunshine Frame. You, in your kit, you'll have a little wooden frame, a brush, and you've got um, two little um, containers of acrylic paint, blue and yellow. And if, when you mix blue and yellow, what do you get? Green, that's right. And um, you also have two little magnets. So after your frame's all dry and everything, if you choose to turn this into a little magnetic frame, you can just add a little glue, glue it to the back of your frame, all right? It's a simple project. Um, I do want you to remember that acrylic paint is, if you get it on your clothing, it, you need to wash it out 
right away when it happens. So the best thing to do is for you to put on maybe an old, a little artist smock or an old t-shirt or something to protect your clothing or wear something you, you don't care if you get paint on. Also, you want to protect your surface. I just grabbed a piece of cardboard that I had, maybe you have some newspaper or, you know, an old cereal box that you can open and flatten and use it um, to protect the table that you're working on. This project involves several steps in which they're quick little steps of painting, but you have to then let it dry. Um, you know, you can, it'll probably dry fairly quick, but you do want it to dry in between. I will show you my finis, finished um, little frame. The sunshine actually is your handprint. So that's, you know, you're gonna do that, the yellow sunshine part of your frame last. And if you're familiar with the song, You Are My Sunshine, it was always um, my girl's favorite little song. Um, then you'll, if you have, you're not familiar with it, ask somebody about it or maybe look it up. Um, but, so you're gonna start off with your acrylic paint, your blue, and you're going to just paint your, um, paint that all over your frame. You're gonna let that dry. If you wanna speed that process up, you can always use a blow dryer to speed up drying your frame off, okay? You're gonna go wash your brush out too in between this. Um, and if you do wanna add a little, I just stuck with blue and yellow, but if you wanna paint your frame green, you could, you know, like for some little grass along the bottom or something, you could definitely be creative and um, kind of mix these two colors maybe on your cardboard or wherever you're at or on a plate. Um, and create your uh, color of green on there. Um, what you're gonna do next then, after your blue is dried on here, is you're going to open up your yellow container. You should have, um, your brush should be fairly dry too when you're painting on this. You don't wanna like soak it. And these brushes are, are kind of a nylon brushes so they don't really absorb the paint or hold the paint too much, but you don't want your brush really, really wet. You wanna keep it um, a little bit on the dry side. You're going to use your hand then as your sunshine. Um, you're gonna paint your hand yellow and then you're gonna lay it down and really push it down on your frame, okay? When I did it the first time, it wasn't quite, you know, yellow enough. So I then painted it, put a little bit more yellow paint on there and placed it down and really pushed my handprint down to um, get that nice handprint on there. Um, you can also then, and you can see that on mine, I've done the handprint. You can also take a little yellow paint and just fill in areas if you don't like the way it's looking and you, you wanna do that. If you're not one to have paint on your hand, you can always just draw the sunshine and you know streaks of um, the sun rays out on your frame, okay? So it's really up to you how you wanna do that. You then wanna let this dry again um, really well and um, if you can see that on my on mine that I created I put um, you are my sunshine my only sunshine you make me happy when skies are gray so I've taken some of the lyrics from the song and I've just written those kind of over and over again around um, the edge of my frame. You can certainly do whatever you want to do. This is just how I went about creating my frame. Once you know everything was dry again, like I said, you can add the magnetic, the magnets on here to make you know into a little magnetic frame, and then put put whatever picture you'd like. You could send this off. It could be a nice Mother's Day gift, um, or just a special little gift you make for somebody, or. You just keep it at home. You, maybe you have a picture of a pet you'd like to put in your frame and then put that on a, you know, um, a refrigerator or something that um, is magnetic. So that is um, the end of that um, project. Be creative.